Okay, so this is when you have two similar figures and they give you some measurements and you need to figure out the missing measurement. So they give us two triangles here and we're going to go ahead and assume that they're similar. It doesn't say anything on here, but if they give you two and it's a problem like this, you can assume that they're going to be similar. So what we need to do is set up some proportions between corresponding sides. So we're setting those up. We're going to go ahead and do big to small. We'll do big triangle to little triangle. So the two corresponding sides, big to small, for the first two sides would be 20 to 4. The 20 corresponds with the 4. And then the other two sides that correspond are the 5 and n. So I'm not sure if I should do 5 over n or n over 5. We look back at our word ratio, we say we do our big to small. So n's from the big shape, 5's from the small. From here, we talked about in class how you can just type in 20 times 5 divided by 4. And uh, I'm going to show that <clears throat> through the proper algebra steps. So we have 4 times n equals 20 times 5. That's the rule of cross products. Work out that 20 times 5 and then divide out the 4 and you get that. So your mystery side is 25 inches. You could have set this up as small over big and then flipped all the numbers as long as you keep it consistent. Okay, so for this one we have two triangles and we're missing one side from the big triangle, that mystery X, and then we're missing one from the small triangle, that mystery Y. They do give us enough information in this picture to where we can figure out the X and the Y. We're going to set up ratios for all the corresponding sides. We'll do big to small again. And X and 8 go together. And then 12 and 6 go together. And then 20 and Y go together. So the measurement from the larger triangles in the numerator, the smaller triangle, all of those measurements are in denom the denominator. We see one of these ratios has numbers in the numerator and denominator. That's the one we're going to use to figure out the common ratio. We get it in lower terms. So that means all of the other sides should be equal to 2 to 1 as well. So I'm going to set the top and bottom ratios equal to 2 to 1. So now we have some proportions. To figure out the x, we can do the 8 times 2 divided by 1. We get 16. We can also do 20 times 1 divided by 2 for the bottom one to figure out y. And we get 10 feet. Uh, and that's it. You're good to go. Um, if we didn't know that 12 to 6, if we didn't know that ratio in the middle, we wouldn't have been able to figure anything out. So now we're going to do one more. These two figures are similar. We have three unknowns. Now the one thing you want to be really careful about, you want to notice how the top shape and the bottom shape, yeah, the bottom's smaller than the top, but it's also been rotated. They shrunk and spun it. So we got to keep that in mind when we're setting up our ratios. So I'm going to go ahead and go big to small again. So we have five up top being the big one. It goes with Y. If you look carefully, they spun the shape around and 5 corresponds with Y. Then the next pair would be 3 to 1. 3 is the shortest side from the top shape. 1 is the shortest side from the bottom shape. So they're going to correspond. And then we're going to go ahead and do 9 with Z. And then we're going to go ahead and go X over 2 for that final pair of corresponding sides. Now I see lots of variables in these ratios. Is there one where there's both actual numbers? Yes, there is. That's the one we're going to use to figure out the common ratio. It's already in lowest terms. 3 over 1 is still going to be 3 over 1. All of the other proportions, all of the other ratios can be made into proportions equal to 3 over 1. So to figure out why, you do 5 times 1 divided by 3. We're going to go ahead and leave it as a mixed fraction. We're going to go ahead and do z now. 9 times 1 divided by 3, and you get a 3. For that bottom one, to figure out x, 
you could do 2 times 3 divided by 1, and you end up getting 6 centimeters. And that is about it.